Reeling from its ongoing debt crisis, Greece has shut down its banks and introduced capital controls after the European Central Bank decided to halt the emergency funding of Greek banks, even as citizens are trying to withdraw their savings. All eyes are on the country, as it is still unclear if it will be able to make a 1.6 billion euro servicing payment on its crushing foreign debt that is due tomorrow. The ongoing situation in Greece has led to a decline in the euro exchange rate against the U.S. dollar and other currencies. Two economics experts discussed the Greek crisis on Croatian radio this morning, with Zagreb University professor Ljubo Jurčić pointing out that Greece simply has no money to pay off its debts and that the only way to cover its liabilities will be to sell off its assets. Tihomir Domazet, the director of the Finance and Accounting Institute said Croatia will probably not feel any direct financial impact from the Greek crisis, but added that the shockwaves will nonetheless be felt in both EU member states and countries in the region that do considerable business with Greece. The chief of staff of the Croatian Armed Forces, General Drago Lovric, met with Lieutenant General Frederick Ben Hodges, the commander of the U.S. Army in Europe, in the Croatian Defense Ministry this morning. The two talked about joint military operations as well as joint exercises that would be conducted in Croatia. Hodges in particular emphasized the importance of Croatia as a U.S. ally. Croatia uh, has been a very uh, capable, effective and uh, trustworthy ally uh, and member of NATO now for several years. Uh, Croatian soldiers and American soldiers have served together uh, in Afghanistan. Uh, Croatia continues uh, to provide to support, resolute support. At the Forensic Medicine and Criminology Institute, families identified the remains of eight more bodies exhumed from mass and individual graves in the territory of eastern Croatia and northern Bosnia. These were persons reported as missing since the end of the war in Croatia in the 1990s, and the search for another 1,600 persons is still continuing. Talking about his party's economic platform on Croatian television today, Tomislav Karamarko, the head of the opposition Croatian Democratic Union, said the state is a poor employer and does not create jobs. He stressed that it is more important to help private enterprise and criticized the current government for failing to successfully draw available funds from the European Union. The coastal city of Šibenik has yet another new amenity for tourists, a sightseeing tour of the city from the sea. Residents have always said that the best view of their city is in fact from the sea, and a local agency decided to revive a tradition that was first started at the end of the 19th century by the city's mayor. The boat tour with the guide lasts for about an hour, but the memories are expected to last forever. In sports, the Croatian national team took the silver medal in the Water Polo World League after losing to Serbia with a score of 9-6 in Sunday night's final match. Although the Croatian team dominated in the first half, the Serbian players managed to turn it around in the second. The Croatian team will next participate in the World Championship in Russia in less than a month's time. And finally, the weather forecast for the rest of the day. Skies will be mostly sunny on the coast and partially so inland. There will be a slight chance of thunder showers, mainly in the east and in the eastern and Dalmatian interior. Light to moderate bora as well as westerly and northwesterly winds will blow on the coast. These winds will be stronger on the open seas of the central and southern Adriatic, so the sea surface will be moderately choppy with higher waves farther out. Today's temperatures are range from 22 to 27 degrees Celsius inland and from 27 to 32 degrees on the coast. Conditions inland are expected to stabilize as the week continues. Sunshine will prevail with only a slight chance of rare showers tomorrow. Temperatures will also rise gradually. Sunshine will predominate on the coast as well with bora and northwesterly winds blowing. Temperatures will also rise, although it is noteworthy that there will be a slight chance of occasional showers in the far south on Tuesday.